What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to do a custom review of the Street Sharks. Stay tuned. All right guys, so before we jump into this review, I just want to give a quick shout out to Richard Villou. I think I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, that's the way I think he said that his name is pronounced. Uh, I know I'm butchering it, <laughs> so I apologize Richard, but I do want to give a quick shout out to him because of his art. His art is amazing. Uh, check it out. Let me show you one by one. These things are incredible. He sent me a few stickers of his artwork and these two are incredible. I really, really, really love these two figures or these two uh, art pieces. Uh, if you guys want to see more of his art, his link will be down below. Go check him out on Instagram. He has really, really cool art. Um, I think it's kind of like a Alex Part D, uh, but his own twist or his own take to it. Uh, really, really cool work. Go check him out, guys. Instagram page will be down below. The link will be down below to his Instagram page. Click on that and go check him out. Say hello. Check out his art. Uh, always, always support your artist, guys. So, anyways, without any further ado, let's get right into the review. All right, guys. So, as you guys can see, these guys don't fit in camera. So, all four of them together don't fit in the camera. So, I'm going to do one by one and review each one individually. So, let's start off with ripster let's pull these guys out all right so this is ripster uh originally this is what he looks like uh so if you guys could see his color is a lot different it's a lot darker um i had to use some leather paints which is these paints it's called the collection edition of angelus true blue is what i used for him and that's the color he got there it looks a lot lighter here for some reason but uh, yeah, it's a lot darker when you put it on or when you apply the paint on him uh, the pants looked a lot different as you guys saw in the in the previous picture I just showed you um, so the pants were different the boots were different the belt wasn't painted I had to paint repaint the teeth unfortunately the teeth aren't glowing anymore because I did have to redo the paint on the teeth because some of it was chipping off and also his face was like really, really screwed up. Uh, let me show you a picture of what his face looked like originally. So there you go. As you guys could see, uh, all this was completely screwed up. Like it was really, really bad. Like all oh, this was completely bad. I tried to fix it as best as possible. And I think I, I, I did as, as good as I could. <laughs> there's, not, there's not more I can do to it, but uh, yeah, so. There he is, Ripster is the leader of the pack. Uh, he still does have his little movements. His articulation, his hands go all the way up, of course. Not too much articulation. None of these, none of these figures ever really had articulation, but his mouth still chomps. So, there you go. Moving on. His streaks. This guy was the hardest one to paint this guy had so much i had to put so much detail into this guy and had to repaint basically the whole figure well i technically i had to repaint all the figures but um this guy had everything had to be detailed because there's so many little spots to him like these little spots here and then these little stripes here then the stripes above here then how to color his eyes and do his teeth and then do his knee pads and do the skates the skates are completely different so let me show you what it originally looked like and so now it looks like this uh, the colors are a lot better for some reason the camera isn't picking up the original colors but basically the same thing um, so there you go ripster and also his nails pop out I can rotate the hands both hands both hands swinging forward back like that uh, there is a twist here at the hip and that's basically it but the tires do rotate roll them back and forth and his mouth does chomp so that works out pretty good so there is streaks it was really hard to make <laughs> all right so the next one is jab jab um, I had to completely repaint him uh, this is what jab looked like 
So the original cartoon figure, had, well, he was brown. Obviously, he was completely brown. And for some reason, they never even painted him brown. I don't know why they never painted him brown. That's the original color on the cartoon series. But um, so I decided to paint him brown. This, these are actually for a client of mine that he wanted me to uh, repaint his figures for him. So that's what I did. And also, he also works exactly the same. And he also punches with this uh, hammerhead. So that still works pretty great. So twist here at the hip and his hands rotate all the way around. The cool part about this paint is that you could put paint on this and it won't chip off. I tried the cheap paint on them first just to make sure that maybe I could do, I could pull it off with the cheap paint but uh, as soon as I put cheap paint on them uh, it wasn't working. Uh, it'll automatically crack it'll completely rip away and it wasn't working out so i had to go with the expensive paint unfortunately i had to do it but it all worked out in the end and it's pretty cool because none of the paint chips or breaks or anything like that so it worked out uh this was the client's favorite one and he really liked it so um this is, well it's about to be shipped out to him so uh, i just wanted to make a quick video before i ship them out to him so there you go that's jab and my favorite one is slamu uh, slamu was my favorite character out of the four um and this guy i had to completely re uh remake him because this was from series two uh even though it has the same mold as series one uh but he had gold uh pants and gold uh, shoes uh, well let me show you a picture of what he originally looked like so there you go. Also with this guy, he had all his face all messed up. So I had to repaint all his face. Uh, his teeth were coming out of his mouth or literally hanging out like that. Um, but his little gimmick there still works. And of course the twist on the hands go up and then you can twist or rotate the whole hip all the way around. And then his mouth also moves up and down. There you go. These characters were really, really cool. Uh, I know they're a ripoff from the Turtles um, animated series, so they ripped them off. But I did get into these while while the the series lasted. Uh, I didn't think they lasted that long. Probably two, three seasons, maybe. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure, but um, I really did like these figures, and I really love the way they made these figures because of the rubbery feel to them. Um, so as soon as I had a dude I had my own collection and when I started repainting these I I, I was like I gotta repaint my figures as well so uh, I'm gonna do that whenever I get a free time to do that so but anyways there we go all four brothers you know so well so there you go quick little review for you guys because um, these are old figures but they're completely repainted remastered HD <laughs> so there you go uh, that's gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you guys watching if you enjoyed this episode please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do guess what you guys will see me on the next one peace